Today we're in Wrexham, Wales in the UK, where Sharp has been producing crystalline solar modules for the European market since 2004. Here the factory manager Mr Butler will explain photovoltaics and solar module production to us. As you can see we manufacture photovoltaic modules. I'm very pleased to have you here today so I can explain how photovoltaics work. And he's the right one for this. With 500 employees, he manufactures 4,000 solar modules a day, equivalent to 220 megawatts per year. The raw material used in solar cells is silicon, which is produced from quartz sand. By heating quartz in a carbon arc furnace, the carbon at high temperatures will combine with the oxygen in the material and leave silicon remaining in the vat. From that material, we need to produce a silicon rod so we can slice it and shape our cells. When sunlight falls on the solar power modules, they convert the light into electrical power. Light photons liberate electrons in the silicon cell, which then generate electricity. Photons hitting the surface of our cell will unbalance the electrons and knock them loose, creating a negatively charged area at the top of the cell. This will travel through the cell, and by connections on either side of the cell, we can produce an electric circuit. To get electricity to flow through our silicon, Boron is added to the original material and phosphor is applied to the front surface of the cell. And how is a solar module made from individual cells? The next stage in our process is to join each cell together to produce a string of cells. Each cell itself is effectively a half volt battery. Joining them together will increase the voltage in a similar way that you would put batteries in a torch. The strings of cells are then joined together to form a matrix. The matrix is then laminated onto the glass with a protective, weather-resistant back film. Since 2005, Sharp has also been producing thin film cells in Japan, which save on raw material. Production involves depositing a 2 micrometer thin silicon layer on glass using a vapor process. This method uses a hundredth of the silicon required to produce crystalline cells. Once finished, the modules are packed and sent out to end customers via distributors throughout Europe, the world's largest solar power market.